I want to know though, Freddie, what would Nando's have to do for you to boycott them? Stop selling chicken. Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. Hello, welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Ron Mulholland, him a big fat cunt, him a little not gay quendo, and we've also got a guest, special guest, Dan Muggleton. Hey, thank you so much for not being mean to me in the intro. It's all right, we'll get there. Um, so Dan <laughs> is an Australian. Um, Dan, at what point at school are you taught how to commit sex crimes in Australia? Um, I... I, I assume uh, high school because <laughs> it, it, in primary school, they're not really sex crimes. They're just being very advanced. Right. You know, because you you're the same age as the victim. <laughs> that is true. Like, that's just a loving relationship between two nine-year-olds. <laughs> that's just heartwarming. Back in the old thing. day, that'd be a financial arrangement. But um, unfortunately, <laughs> you Speaking know. Speaking of like loving arrangements uh, and loving children, um, right. You know the Philip Schofield thing? Yeah. I actually am starting to feel sorry for him. What? Oh, of course you are. Because, the poor because, maligned paedophile. No, 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 because, right, he's, he's clearly a nonce, right? <laughs> okay. But, but what he's done... Are is you he's... aware of this, by the way, Dan? This is well, very I, British, this story. Well, I, I, I feel like he kind of stole our nonce's thunder a little bit because mm. Rolf Harris died and everyone oh. was like... R.I.P. to a great one. Yeah, yeah. what a, the one of the true with, kings. The he painted with, the queen. The thing with <laughs> Philip Schofield, right, is that... He's clearly a nonce, yeah. right? And he did exactly what we tell paedophiles to do. Which no, what is, we tell him to which do is, is not fuck kids. Exactly, and he didn't. He waited until he was one minute past legally fuckable. No, he claims and he did. Him. He claims no, he, he did. did. He did the equivalent of going, not touching, can't get mad. No, you don't know that. <laughs> you exactly. weren't there. You it's, weren't honestly, there. Honestly, it's like getting done for speeding and doing 72. It's like... <laughs> It uh, is. You don't know that he didn't fuck him before he was 18. He didn't fuck him before How he was 18. How do you know that? Because he, he said. said. Oh, right. Notoriously trustworthy Philip Schofield, who has lied all the way through this. But I'm saying, all right, okay. If he, he only started fucking him when he turned 18, uh -huh. you've got to feel a little bit sorry for him that he fancied the kid when he was 12. He waited six years... I, well, he met the kid when he was 12. Yeah. He waited six years of not, which is what we tell paedophiles to do. We go, don't fuck that child. Wait until they're at no, least... We don't, no, no, we no, don't no, 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 no. You're adding an extra bit. You're <laughs> adding an extra bit. Yeah. We just say, don't fuck the kid. That's the end of the sentence. Yeah, but when they turn 18, no. go for it. Don't go for it. <laughs> that is not part of it. Not go for if it. If they want to, when you turn 18, then but fill your boots. But if you've been grooming them since they were 12, like I kind of feel like you mm -hmm. might be manipulating them right. a touch. That's another thing. Yeah. Well, not a touch, but you know. It's I... like Barcelona bribing referees. Like They did win those league titles, but come on. That's another thing as well, <laughs> is I am not sure why we use the word groom as a negative. Because... Really, what grooming is, is being really nice to them, buying them things and presents and gifts and meals and holidays and shit. It should be a positive. It should be, hey, to be fair to Philip Schofield, he groomed that kid. Yeah, he charmed He him. He groomed that kid. <laughs> he really won that kid years. over. <laughs> That's what I hated about Jimmy Savile. He didn't groom a single one. He just went in, touched him and fucked off. That's why that, he was the worst. That's Why's what it? you hated. Like yeah, that? That it was yes. the bit. Yeah, it yeah. was the lack of grooming. Leave, uh -huh. Not leave, the raping. Leave a love to shop voucher. And yeah. then, fine. Yeah, yeah. Like, geez, why, every now and again, we start doing a segment and I just flash forward to five years' time where I'm watching this in a court. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, Freddie's just going, oh, no, grooming's actually good. Yeah. It's like... Uh, I think you're wrong. And I think it's not okay. And I, look, here's a controversial opinion. I don't think if you're, I don't think you should fuck anyone you met when they were 12. If you're over 50, what I think that's a fair what, okay. bit of leeway. <laughs> okay, but anyone you meet then, not fair. You're don't saying fuck that. Them. You're saying that. Because you don't want to. But imagine if you really uh -huh. wanted to yeah. and you went, oh, I can't because it's illegal. I'll wait till they're 18 and I'll be dead nice to them. This is how Freddie works with morality. And if they want morality. to fuck me... It's, then... it's kind of like 
You want your parents to die so you get their house, but you're not going to burgle them now. Thank you. Yes, there you go. Well, I don't want my mum to die so I can get her house. And if my yeah. dad dies, fuck knows where that house is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay, well, look, if your mum didn't live in an 80 grand council flat in Nursbury... My mum's got a very nice house. Is she, it, look, okay, if your submissive mother dies... And she left you the house. What, Long story. What kind of canon have I missed in this podcast? <laughs> Rob's got a submissive mum. Okay. Well, I, Rob's, I feel Rob's, caught up. Rob's, Rob's mum's... Uh, she likes uh, a man in uniform. Yeah. yeah, with power. She's very so groomable. Always yeah. like, it's always like police yeah. and army and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, sure. And it's because she's submissive. She's a submissive woman. She wants that. Would, the, uh, would my tracksuit be sufficient? Or is that not enough? No, no, uniform? no. Very much different social class. The okay. moustache. You get, could work with the moustache. Get, get yourself a yeah. whistle. And also as well, your dad mustache out the door because oh, he left that was, <laughs> that was a pun that was a yes! pun about a broken home yes see i can do stuff about schofield and i can do puns about his dad going Ooh. as well he's so well-rounded <laughs> well yeah. well <laughs> yeah how did you do a worse one off the back of it <laughs> yes. just let him die in silence why did you come in and help him out with your shit joke oh, fuck no. me but they're kind of like a team i've noticed yeah, this yeah, yeah. like already because yeah, yeah. freddie was saying things that i think nobody would agree with and then tom was like fuck he's got some good points tom they is very much a yes ander when it comes to paedophilia. Yeah. He's, he's like, <laughs> oh, gee, mister, are we touching a kid's bum hole? Sounds fun. <laughs> he, he sounds quite groomed. Yeah, oh, yeah, he yeah. massively is. Yeah, yeah, yeah well yeah, groomed, yeah, yeah. yeah. Little groomed. In all other instances in life, though, groomed is like a good word. Like being mm, well groomed. Like dog grooming. Dog you're not, grooming? You're not waiting like... till the dog's 18 in dog years that's to fuck it. it. That's, and... that's a different thing. <laughs> Bride and groom? Well, why is groom such a horrible word with pedos? Yeah. Well, the, the pedos have ruined it in they that have way. Ruined the word Words don't inherently have like you know value. It's what we associate with them, in it. Yeah, so that's, that's what you've true. learned there. <laughs> Interesting. Context change is what word means. Wild, wild, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm very disappointed in both of you. <laughs> what? You've just spent five minutes defending a pedo. I didn't defend him. I said I felt sorry for him. He, he said he was the best kind of pedophile. Well, which... yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, I know he... it's your point. I was yeah. just repeating yeah, it to he, you. He literally is the best kind of pedophile. <laughs> well, a gay pedophile. One that waits. Yeah. One that the waits. Pe the, the, patient pedophile, pedo. the patient pedo. He catches the word. <laughs> like an Aesop's fable. <laughs> the early pedo goes to prison. <laughs> The late pedo gets off the air, yeah. unfortunately. The tortoise and the lack of pubic hair. <laughs> that was bad. There we go. That was good. That's that bad. was very Maybe. good. That's better. I quite that was like enough that. shit, some of it sticks. That yeah, was impressive. There you go. But yeah. Surely Schofield just had to lose contact with the child since the age of 12 till the age of 18. Mm, like, that, if there was no a grooming, way. that would... Like, just, oh, I remember, oh, when, you I remember 12, you from when you I were 12. I thought you'd yeah. be hot. Right. You know? Here's yeah. a thing. Yeah. Don't say the thing about I thought you'd be hot. But so like, that's not great. So here's one. What what about what about uh, Cheryl Cole? Because uh -huh. she met fucking Louis What's his face when he was like a little child. Yeah, I think Cheryl Cole's a piece of shit. Like, I don't <laughs> think this is. She did a racially aggravated assault. She married Ashley Cole. Like there were enough like clues before the paedophilia. Wait, she Cheryl was a bad Cole egg. married Ashley Cole. Yeah, that's where the name came yeah, from. Yeah, oh, yeah. I thought that yeah. was just coincidence. No, she had another name before. Oh, that. okay. So yes. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know the <laughs> history. <Fucking> idiot. <laughs> I, no, I was just like, what? <laughs> what a coincidence! I was like, I can be that man that. and wife had the same surname. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> worst, the worst thing is that she didn't actually take his name. So when she was married, it was Cheryl Cole Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Did the hyphen? I like it. I read it. Um, sorry, I genuinely have no idea who so, Cheryl Cole is. So right, really? I, was I was trying to. I was so, trying to catch so up. So Cheryl yeah. Cole was originally called Cheryl Tweedy. Yeah. Right? Okay. And I want See, you if to you know, started like that, I, I wouldn't have sounded like a dumb cat. <laughs> I want you to know that she was well fitter than what her name suggests. Yeah. yeah like Cheryl really Tweedy. Fit. So Cheryl like, Tweedy sounds like she works at a bookies. Yeah. And she I mean? sounds <laughs> like that. She's got a like real Geordie accent, but she's yeah. fit. But she was... Oh, do I? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's attractive, right? She's attractive. Now, she was... The f oh, yeah. She was the fittest one in Girls Aloud that was a, the most popular girl band at the yeah. time. Okay. Your, your, your poison may vary. I'll let you know. Who did you think was the fittest? I swear if you said the ginger one. Like I did fancy the ginger one. I fancied the ginger can one. I, can I see the, the rest of Girls Aloud? Maybe the blonde one who's dead. Um, oh, Sarah dead Harding. She was dead fit. Uh, but like, I did Dead fancy fit? the ginger one. Wow, well, uh, you're on it too. All right, that's just uh, northern colloquialism. But you know, you could. I think you can make a fair argument for whoever you want. You Wait, know, people Rob, have you were saying taste. the ginger one. Yeah, yeah, that's no, not that's the out worst. Of, that's, that's the worst. Goddamn mind. That's, that's the, the worst, worst era of her. That's she the worst. blossomed. Her yes. eyes <laughs> are different sizes in that photo. 
So All right, you're no oil painting, you little fucking goblin. <laughs> How dare you criticise anyone else? I'm not claiming looks. to be the fittest one in girls allowed. Tiny little fucking gremlin <laughs> having a go at other people, like you fucking little internet having troll. Having a you fucking casting fortune. stones at him for having a go at other people when all you do is have a go at other people. You hypocritical yeah. fucking streak of. Yorkshire piss. I was being complimentary about these beautiful women. Yeah, but you were very mean about Philip Schofield. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. You've got me there, mate. I apologise to the paedophile community. So, to be fair to Nicole, she had uh, a real fucking glow up. And yeah, by the did. end, she was probably the second fittest one. She I, aged... And at, and at points, I think the hottest. Yeah, uh, she yeah, aged yeah, great. Yeah, she yeah, aged she's... great. So is Cheryl called the dark-haired one? Yeah. There? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Again, that's not a great picture of him. But, you know, uh, she basically, so she married uh, Ashley Cole took you, his name you know Ashley Cole yeah aware of him yes left back for yes. England yes Chelsea. now there was a rumour as well that Ashley Cole was gay and liked a mobile phone shoving up his ass. was he that one yes or he was yeah, yeah, yeah that was, was him yeah yeah, yeah. What he liked a mobile phone. There was a, there yeah, was a yeah. rumor about him having a threesome with I think Jermaine Pennant was it? Maybe. What and a Nokia fifty two ten? Essentially, yeah, with an old Nokia getting shoved up <laughs> Ashley Cole's ass while they're having a threesome with a bird. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They rang what? the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine. yeah. They rang the phone to set it off. This is the rumor. Imagine. I'm, I'm, I can't, can't get yeah. any signal. <laughs> <laughs> what fucking network are you on? That's incredible. <laughs> well, ironically, three. That's, that's how it works. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like that was the rumor. I can't confirm. Them. The rumour was Ashley Cole was gay and yeah. Cheryl Cole didn't fancy him at all, but Cheryl Cole got accused of racism. Well, she got accused of No, no, of she racism. got convicted of racially she, assaulting yeah. a woman so, in a toilet. Yeah, like... It, wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like if the women Google, who sell lollipops and aftershave and stuff in the toilet. If you Google Cheryl well, Cole... Yeah. Cheryl Cole... Uh, uh, racism. Racism. <laughs> That'll cover it. I would not like anyone to search that for me. You know, <laughs> just like Daniel Muggleton racism. Right. Not great. I've led a life. Okay, if that auto this, completes, you're fucked. After, <laughs> after this, Google Daniel Muggleton racism. Oh, come on. <laughs> she was cleared, but she was also fined £3,000. Uh, but Tweedy, 20. Go on, you read it from there. She was convicted of assaulting no, no, no. her. They didn't no, convict... read it from there. Oh, Only because no. it's a tricky name. That's yeah. how you've done that, isn't it? <laughs> Tweedy, 20, was convicted of assaulting Sophie Amagbogpa, 39. Amagbogpa. Okay. I don't think that's the worst go at that. No, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. He sounded it out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In order to pay a £3,000 fine. It was like a toddler with his reading book yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah. Amagbogpa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at. Yeah. In order to pay a £3,000 fine and do 120 hours of community service. Oh, so she was convicted. Yeah. She was convicted. She was cleared of racially aggravated assault, but convicted of assault. Ah. Yeah. So basically, I definitely They couldn't prove I what she said you. while she was doing yeah. it. Yeah. I defo <laughs> hit you, but we're not sure if it's because you were black. Yeah. That's yeah, it. Yeah, that'd basically. be such a tough one. It's like, it's not because of her race. It's because she's a cunt. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's your argument. Well, like, yeah. She's, she's a slag, Your Honor. Like, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's because she's trans. <laughs> <laughs> What a hill to die on. <laughs> uh, right, go back, Google yeah. Daniel Muggerton racism. See what yeah, let's I, I, I'm curious now. I don't think anything will come up. I'll from... imagine. He, oh, is, he be... is Australian. Like, you know. To be yeah. honest, you wouldn't be our first guest. Shout out, Alfie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, to be fair, no, it's, uh, it's you talking about racism in your yeah. show. Oh, Thank look you. at you being good. Yeah. 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 There we go. Right, now change that to rape. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. We have a long-running uh, theory about Australia, by the way, Daniel, which is why I asked you that earlier. Uh, we, everyone in Australia at some point has committed a rape. No, yeah? no, 98%. 98%. So 98%. 98%, 98%, 98%, 98%, 98% of ra Australians are rapists. Yeah. 99% of Australians are rapists. 98, 98 come on. 98. So who are the 2%? Well, we're hoping you. <laughs> oh, fuck me too. My wife's in the car. What about her? Not a huge population. You got to be statistically someone in my family in the car. <laughs> the boot. Uh, it's unlocked. I'm not a monster. The window's cracked. Um, yeah. yeah. So why why do we all rape? Is that was that come up historically yeah. in the show? You tell us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we just uh, we just found it out. We I were... honestly can't remember where it came from. The show. <laughs> I have no I idea. I think I said that all Australians are rapists, and then we just went right. From there. Okay, I think we just believed you. Yeah. yeah. How the fuck did we get onto Cheryl Cole anyway? Oh, what the fuck was that about? Know. I don't know. And speaking of what weird things are about, all right. Oh. What's... <laughs> What's the deal with? Uh, have you seen what Apple have just released? Yes, I have. Yeah. What the do you spunk think? goggles? <laughs> what do you think? 
Type in uh, Apple Vision Pro. Have you seen these, Daniel? Is, is it the one that mixes reality with virtual reality? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the one. So it's a virtual reality glasses that you can see through. So right? you can like assault someone and choose their race. Yes. And you're like, yeah. hey, <laughs> Your Honor, I did nothing wrong. Oh, what a great use for that technology. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like oh, deep fakes, but for mute it, mute racism. It. Yeah. So my first... Can you imagine how fast Steve Jobs is spinning in his grave looking at this heap of shit? Well, right, this is my first problem with it. I think they look fucking shite. Oh, they look stupid. They look if, stupid. If you see anyone in one of those, I think it's fair enough just to push them over. Honestly, if you're wearing one, you might as well wear a big sign that says mug me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, hundred percent. It's worth three grand, and it makes you look like a spanner. Are you, are you supposed? To, I thought you were supposed to wear them in the confines of your own home, or are these supposed to be just like out in the world? So on the on the advert, they they're all in the house them, there. But on the advert, they showed one uh, uh, being at like um, on an airplane. And there was a baby ah. crying, and she was like, "I want to watch a film." So she puts a film on. Then she oh, finally a, a way to watch a film on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> They're really solving the life's biggest problems here, aren't they? Fuck but, sake! But she... <laughs> what are they on? Like they've ra- this is the problem with technology. They've run out of actual problems to solve. Life is incredibly convenient, right? Mm. All I have to do to order any food from anywhere in the world to my house is do that on a little thing. I can make a car arrive at my house. I can for any form of transport. I don't need it more convenient than that. So now they've got to put in these mad spacker goggles to make me look like a fucking cunt. I can't and charge believe me three grand I, for him. I honestly can't believe retrospectively that the marketing team didn't go with mad spacker goggles. <laughs> well, I was going to say, as, as an Australian, spacker sounds like a slur. It is, yeah. It it is. Oh, okay. It cool. absolutely is. Just check it. It is, it is um, one above simple, one below retarded. It's that yeah, yeah, middle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like gentle. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's quite a few above simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is quite, yeah. All right. What's in between? Simple. Well, it's, it's a variant, it's a oh, variant of spastic, isn't it? That's where it comes from. Okay. Uh, sure. But I spastic. would say spastic is above spacca. Yeah, because it's a technical term. You can name a charity the Spastic Society, but not the Spacca Society. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you can name a charity whatever you want. That's true. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Helping Spackers everywhere. Yeah. You, guys, you guys can finally do something good with this podcast. <laughs> the no, Spacca Society. We will never do that. No. <laughs> uh, to be fair, we are helping out quite a lot of Spackers. Oh, as <laughs> My God, that's how we should get back at Avalon. What? We should set up a charity in their name that funds intellectual property cases. <laughs> <laughs> Just funding creators yeah, against yeah, people yeah, doing yeah. Soon. I like it. Let's go. You gotta yeah. come up with like an acronym for Avalon. Yeah. So you can use it. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. it's not Avalon, it's yeah. the autistic Advanced, nerds. Yeah, it's blah, very blah, blah. artistic, lame. I can't remember to spell Avalon. <laughs> how ironic. Or, <laughs> how ironic. <laughs> not bad. Well, right. we've got a very first client artistic, for the Spacker Society. A very artistic, <laughs> lame, or of knobheads. Of knobheads. Maybe change lame to like. Yeah. You think that was that's the league. squeaky wheel that needs league. to be Legion. Yeah, a very artistic league of knobheads. Yeah. Oh, that works. I feel like we could do better. We'll workshop this <laughs> yeah, yeah, when we're not recording, mate. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Apple Vision, Apple Vision Pro, yeah. right? Yes. Do you know what I thought was really weird watching this is. I'm watching it, and I know that in 10 years' time, that technology is going to be ubiquitous. It's going to be fucking everywhere. But it's not going to be that. It's go- yeah, it's not going to be that. This is the first gen that nobody buys. Or it'll be a thing that just doesn't happen, like 3D TVs. You know, we have yeah. these, like, technological branches that people Google go Glass. downloads that just Google go Google Glass, that's true. Yeah, yeah that bomb. That was a shocker. Yeah. That's true. The good thing about these is, a big problem with virtual reality headsets is, if you're cranking one out, and like to your VR porn, yeah. you are separated from the world. You yeah. are vulnerable to getting caught. Mm. At least with this, you got a bit of peripheral vision, and you can see if someone's coming. Yeah, right and you're not the gonna, sofa. I mean, you're not going to bang. His, like I always, I, 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 I hated those Oculus headsets and shit. Because I've got mo- one. It's dead fun. I get motion sickness in them. I hate them. This is a hard thing with them. If you're in any game where you move, it yeah. feels horrible. Yeah, um, mm. especially like... for Freddy because he never moves. <laughs> <laughs> he went on step simulator. <laughs> Walked up three and he's like, "This is fucking horrible. <laughs> what is this?" He's just sweating. <laughs> like, sorry, I, I. Can they see this? Could the people listening? Is there like a video? Yeah, it's a video version. Yeah, yeah. That's what all the cameras are done. Oh well, I just at the screen though. The screen. Yeah, though we'll was put the it thing. on there, mate. We've oh, got okay. editors. Lovely. Don't worry, mate. We're pretty slick with this. Well, I just I wasn't sure because I just keep looking at him and thinking if you shaved me and took off my tracksuit top, yeah. that's me. Yeah, 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 you yeah. could really easily be an Apple salesman. I could just yeah. a condescending tech cunt. That's I could very easily upsetting. see you at a genius bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just be like, what seems to be the problem? Yeah, <laughs> right, just let me check my heart rate for a sec. 
fucking bring up the old wrist. The Ugh. only barrier of you being immediately ingratiated in that world is your mustache. Yeah. Oh no, I think I think that could really help. To be honest, like San Francisco tech dudes, there's a lot of those wandering about. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like I, I, you referred to me as those, and I was complimented. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I I, I meant the moustache specifically, but I'm fine oh, okay. with it meaning all of you. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Sure. The whole the whole shebang. Yeah. It, so my question about this yeah. Apple Vision Pro yeah. is number one: How long before you reckon it's everywhere? Mm -hmm. Or do you even reckon it's everywhere? I think something similar to like this, maybe. I don't know about everywhere, but it's got to get like more simple and make you look less of a cunt for a start. Mm, yeah. it can't, as soon as there's not a big headset, if it's a thing that you can like wear a contact lens, it'll make it a lot I more think, I think trendy glasses is where you want it. Yeah, but it's got to be able to be put in any glasses to make it yeah. really go there. And also not in glasses because loads of people don't want to wear glasses. Something like sunglasses, maybe? Maybe. Or... I still don't know if it's going to be the thing that I, is... I don't think it's enough of a jump that people are desperate for it. Right? When the I iPhone first came out, better. everyone was like, wow, this is a massive yeah, increase yeah, yeah. in technology. Whereas this is like, I could just do all this on my phone. It's like I strapping your phone it. to your head. That's yeah. all it's doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just holding your phone there. That's the thing with yeah, it. It's not yeah, yeah. adding loads. There's got to be a real way well, that well, it fundamentally changes okay, everything. So like one, of the, one of the ways that it fundamentally changes everything is, you know, in like an Oculus, you have to have those fucking yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like gear stick. Oh, yeah, that is cool. You can just so do this. You can it? literally just do this. Like Minority and, Report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, is it is it purely for like entertainment or is it like, I think when it becomes practical, like that's when it catches mm. on. It becomes, it's for everything. So you can, you could type and it could be open stuff and you could, uh, right. you can move windows. Yeah, but it's current selling point is it does everything your computer already does. Yeah, that's its that selling is. point. Yeah. It's yeah. like, there's not a leap with it. Like, I, you know, it's kind of cool, but I've got an Oculus in a box sat gathering dust that's cool that comes out at parties. You yeah. know, like it's like not a wait. You bring an Oculus out at parties. It's They're great so, at parties. It's so funny watching people on it, man. And if you put people in punching things, every now and again they smack someone when they don't realise. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I had Sully O'Sullivan in one of my house, just fucking nearly chinning cunt. It was well funny. That, that was actually a Cheryl Cole's defence. Yeah, um, I had an Oculus on your honour. Yeah. I had no idea what was going on in the bathroom at the time. Um, yeah, I, I think price point, honestly, mm. if you want it to become... Three and a half thousand dollars. Too much. Mm. Too much for that. Well, you would have said a while ago, a grand for a phone was way too much, you know, and no one would ever pay that. Yeah, but when iPhones first came out, they weren't a grand, were they? Exactly. They were less. Exactly. So this needs to get a load cheaper, but yeah. like they can work it up. But I don't know. I just don't see the real use for it. And I think it's a bit creepy. If it becomes like a, a contact lens and a thing you can't see that someone's using, then it becomes disturbing. Yeah. yeah. Like the thing in Japan where they had to keep the shutter noise on on phones like you can never turn off the shutter noise for a camera Stop up upskirting yeah is upskirting that serious academic. you can't yeah, turn the shutter noise off in japan that, that's that's what i, I read on the internet one time so idea. it must be true shut the fuck up because no, i fucking it's hate... real there's an epidemic in japan yeah. upskirting right google yeah get i on also it. like i hate people i love you said google and they did that and i'm like yeah freddie upskirting yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> that's the direction up the skirt brother you got it what am i googling upskirt in japan no what the fuck about the shutter thing shutter noise i just believe him yeah yeah, no, but if you Google upskirting Japan, it's just going to bring up yeah, porn. There you That's go. what I mean. In Japan, phone camera shutter sounds... I just believed you. I didn't need to Google that. I mean, that was 2015, That's so mental. it might have changed since then. It's really smart, though. It is. And like, I think I think that should be a thing everywhere, to be honest. I hate like that thing on social media of taking photos of random people like, on totally. public transport and like. Yeah, it's them. gross. Or like, even worse, like people do it at like raves. Like, I, I, there was a party I was at, like this big like uh, rave festival, where mm. like two days afterwards, a guy went viral. I saw the guy at the party. Yeah. He was off his bollocks carrying a big log around, right? And he was having the best <laughs> time. Right? He's got this log over his shoulder and he's just fucked, like raving yeah. with this log. And everyone loved him. He was like, log guy but then it went viral like on someone put it on uh, the internet and it's like yeah i don't know if his job is going to be cool about this and he was just a guy at a party having some fun someone's mm. filmed him and made it like public that, Look is, that is really bad anyone want to watch some videos that we've been sent <laughs> yeah yeah but that's uh, our podcast is based yeah. on no but not like I mean, luckily, at a this... random party it's like people making extreme pornography that's yeah. very different isn't yeah. it yeah luckily uh, this guy was an oak furniture salesman so it was absolutely <laughs> yeah. log guy yeah 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 <laughs> if anything it did him a favour that, that was actually his number plate before the rave <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he just wanted to fucking make it catch on but I'm... sorry I just thought of the irony in Japan it's like the shutter noise stays on but actually any photo you take of a vagina on a Japanese phone is blurry. You know, like just kind of automatically. <laughs> Again, like, they've what? solved it. Japanese it's porn, they blur the genitals. Porn. 
Just a little joke about on Japanese pop blow the genitals. I didn't know this. Oh yeah, it's like he hates Asian people. I, well, I don't I, hate him. I just don't find him. A... Wow. Uh -huh. Finish I... it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, it's a very, it's a very common trope. Anyway, that the, the, uh, genitals are pixelated. I, in Japanese I do realize part. that British people don't really know anything about East Asia. Like yeah. South Asia, you got it. East Asia, you're like, what? What are they like? Yeah, the, are they the, ours? Still? The Chinese ones? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 it's, I've, yeah, not. You've never, I, you've never I, seen I, blurred genitals in mm, pornography. No, never in the LimeWire days dick. of downloading based on file name yeah. alone. You never just copped the Japanese porno, and you're like, "What's with that? Yeah, that dick looks like mine." It's mad because <laughs> he looks like every guy who buys Thai teenage prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I Google, uh, my Google search for porn is uh, submissive housewives from Nursebury, which is how I met Rob. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So that's how it works. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on, Google's just like, oh, I'll just put you through with this son. <laughs> well, Rob was doing the diary. Yeah, he was yeah, yeah. I was doing the booking at this point. Yeah, Are yeah. you the producer for your mum's? I am, yes. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a mum. Yeah. Yeah. He controls all the finances. Is, is, is hers audio balanced or no? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do Google it a lot quicker than <laughs> um, Yeah, I've sent some fun stuff today, by the way. If you get into the emails, I'll show you some things uh, we've got. Um, so this kink shaming one, start with the top one, right? This is one of the maddest fucking stories. Now, we actually got sent in uh, a video that related to this ages ago, but we couldn't show it because it broke one of our cardinal rules. Oh, it wasn't the, the... Just wait, just wait, just wait. Don't guess, just wait, right? <sighs> so have a little look at this Twitter bio of Denise Frazier. Arrested unlawfully. I have a kink, but it doesn't hurt anyone. I won't be the first or last to have that kink. Age 90. Right, now if you scroll up and look at the uh, comment, that's not up, is it, Tom? You fucking retard. Oh, that this, <laughs> this bio really is something when you look up what she got arrested for. Do you want to Google what she... Uh, Denise Frazier arrest. Pop that into Google and we'll see what she was arrested for. Denise Frazier, you spell it wrong. It's a Z. How, how do I know it's the Z? Go. Because you've literally just read it. Oh, man. Google said he spelled it wrong. Yeah, Google spelled, spelled it wrong. Whoa, go, whoa, Go to the Cleveland whoa. 19 one, maybe. Which one's it? This one? No, the one that says Cleveland 19 on it. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, can just... Whoa. Wait, you're going to read it out, but I've, I've got some questions about the language of that headline. Uh-huh. Woman 19 accused of performing sexual act with dog on social media. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what it was, was we actually got sent this video, and I've seen it. She uh, she gets her dog to lick her out, right? Okay. But also... I'm glad it's that way around. What? Yeah, but that, that's part of it. That's only a bit of it that I've seen. So, And in the video that just, I've seen... Just before you go any further, what breed of dog? Uh, it's like quite a, a like relatively big dog. Looks, I, if, I haven't seen this for ages. Labradori, Whippity, I don't know, okay. something that sort of breed. Fair Wait, enough. Labradori, Whippity. Like those are two yeah, completely I mean, like, different like lurcher, looking dogs. Uh, that sort of size. Okay. Of dog, like medium sized dog. Yeah, okay. So, so, dog. so from the size of sort of Lurcher to Labrador, something like that. That's what you want because they'd have a big, big tongue. tongue. They've got if a big you tongue. had a tiny little chihuahua just licking your bean, nah. I think that's weird. But, but a big um, tongue I can get on board. In with. the video I've seen, she did a duet with the video of her getting licked out where she explains why it's okay that she's getting licked out by a dog. Why can we not see that video? Well, because it was on the old phone number. If anyone has this oh. video, what so I'm doing. Oh, so it's one of the illegal ones that we're not allowed to show. Yes, but we'll blur half the screen where she's getting licked out by a dog. If you've got this video, if you're the person who sent it to us, please send it again to the new number of 07354 188 257. Read this story though. It is fucking insane. Okay. Uh is it is it weird to want to know what colour the dog's fur was? Sort of blonde. <laughs> they have more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Mississippi authorities say a woman has been arrested for committing a sexual act with an animal. According to Jones County Sheriff's Department, 19-year-old Denise Frazier. Young to get into the animal porn, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but how old is that in dog years? <laughs> <laughs> how old's the dog? Philip Schofield's curious. <laughs> Denise Fraser is facing charges that include unnatural intercourse and aggravated cruelty involving an animal. Mm. She didn't take her turn, she just made it. I mean, I don't out. think it's I don't think it's cruel. It's cruel to... if you don't suck off the dog afterwards. That's that's, <laughs> that's cruel. If you blue ball the dog. That's cruelty. Are you yeah. assuming the gender of the dog? Fair, I have done that, and I apologise to that dog that I'm possibly misgendered. If this is a female it, a or non-binary dog, dog they could do be a specify lesbian. it is a male dog. It is a male oh, dog. Thank well. you. you know, could have done a 69. Yeah, he could have done, yeah. yeah. Let's give the little doggy reach around. You actually couldn't have done a 69, could you, though? Because, like, the dog would need to 
You could 69 a dog. Come on. Yeah. Well, like standing? No, you just have to bend round a bit. Freddie couldn't do it because of the gut. But like, you'd have to, if you curled round a bit, I could get a dog there. Look, look at this position, right? I you could couldn't there. 69 a, a dog. could be sucking me off right now and I could be like, yeah, I know, but the, that dog is going to have to be incredibly well behaved. Yeah, it's a it's a very good boy. <laughs> <laughs> boy for you, odd. Yeah, because I'm sucking it off. Okay. I'm sucking it off. That's okay. true. I think if you're sucking off a dog, whether you're gay or not, is the least of anyone's <laughs> issues, to be honest with you. Imagine that. Just like a male dog. Oh, He's God. not getting into heaven. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, there is more to this story as well. If you go back on the uh, the email, um, right. a, a second part of it, because she has a Twitter account she is currently tweeting from so, in defense of herself. So, okay, so I think I know what our fans are going to do. Yeah. Um, Denise Fraser. So it's Denise Sweet 614 is her handle, if you want to find that, it'll come up on screen. Yeah. There we go. Uh, the most annoying thing about getting out of jail is seeing how people are so judgmental. Yes, I did it in a church. What? What? But some of you don't even go to church. Some of you are judging me, but God didn't judge me. At the end of the day, I'm thick, cute, and very smart. She has been reading too many tattoos. God yeah. does judge. <laughs> yeah, God has definitely judged yeah. you. And I would say, I'm, not, I'm no expert on Christian theology, but I reckon it is more Christian. It's like better Christian etiquette to not go to church than to suck off a dog in church. I think Wait, of don't, the don't two you know, sins... Don't you know the Ten Commandments? <laughs> you Sit, must suck off a dog. Stay. <laughs> Come. Roll over. <laughs> it's mad she did it in a church as well. It's it's mad, actually, that she's slightly more attractive than what I would have thought. You would definitely shag be. that dog fucker, wouldn't you? Um, I'd shag a but... dog to shag her. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she's amazing in bed. Well, she's definitely like wild. She's up for shit. Yeah. If you like introduce the idea of something kinky, she can't exactly go. Oh, oh no, that's too far. Mate, I'd be you getting, shagged the dog. I'd be, I'd be getting, I'd be getting sex toys from pets at home. <laughs> Get Put a rubber bone fly. up her ass. Get one of those things that you fly, fire tennis balls, just fire it up a mint. <laughs> what, chuck it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it's all right, babe. Kong toy up a fan. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, you can have that dildo all down you want. It's a Kong, the durable. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Yeah, so there's like loads more to this as well. Like, we need to do more of a deep dive into this woman. Well, because I would like, go on her Twitter okay. and see what she's up to at the moment. I mean, I felt like seeing as how the free K Bell campaign was so successful. Yeah. Well, we got K Bell out. Hashtag free dog fucker. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh what's she doing there? Eleven hours ago. How are girls fre prep for a horse? Oh God, she's still at it. She's what? Wow. She's gonna do it again she's with a horse. That's not big enough to prep for a horse. No, that's nowhere near big enough for prep it. That's a starter. Yeah. Mind you, you started just prep you. All right, we've seen this loop a lot of times now, Tom. Okay. <laughs> just, just, um, the same ass my daddy used to grab when he hugged me. I don't I think her daddy hugged her enough. Wow. Wow. I think he probably hugged her the wrong way mm. if he's grabbing ass she mid hug. Has got issues. I think. Oh, the same ass my daddy used to grab. Sorry, I didn't really. Yes. I didn't really take that yeah. in properly. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. that explains so much. Because mm. th well, there was definitely oh, go up, go up. some sort of fuck childhood involved here. What the fuck is that? Oh no! She's so no, got no. a DM. No, that's boring. No, no, no. Yeah, I thought yeah, I thought it was an no. interesting. Do so you reckon she met the dog on an app? I don't think there's like a Tinder for this. Fetch okay, her. There you go. <laughs> this is this <laughs> likes long walks, stop. belly rubs, live, laugh, woof. It's great. So, uh, so this is how insane she is. She's got only this fans. Was, this was her tweet oh, no. 15 hours ago. I just learned about Tupac. I honestly feel I'm reincarnated as him. And that's why so many people hate me. A lot of people really like Tupac. Yeah. It's like, if you're reincarnated Tupac, spit a verse. <laughs> Go on, then. Yeah. Let's have a verse about you shagging a dog if you're yeah. Tupac. Let's hear your rhymes if you're claiming you are reincarnated Tupac. If anything, she's reincarnated as Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Every now and again, he gets one. That was good. That oh, was that good. Was top that, that was good. good. That was lovely work, Tom. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, that's like a that's like a proper no. Oh, there's dog shagging nude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, does, it, does it bother you guys? That, running that, running that, out of money for dog food, and I can't keep feeding them pop tarts. Mm. Ugh. Yeah, and God. pop tarts cheaper than dog food. What's I think going on in Mississippi. I think I think pop tart might be a euphemism. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. ew. Yeah. yeah. Can we, I, yeah, like we're all just sat around looking at a naked dog fucker currently and it's quite it odd. Does bother you guys that there's never the dog in the photos? Expand. Have they oh. broken up? <laughs> oh, what's she put? Go up, go up. <laughs> Heartbreaking. This power couple's over. Yeah, what's she, she saying on her video? Turn it up, turn it up. Welcome to the knee show. I've been fucking... Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the balls! We're gonna have to watch this again. <laughs> right, we are thinking of bringing back the soundboard, and we've just found our first clip to add to it. I've been fucking dogs. <laughs> it's, it's amazing when you can hear chromosomes in an accent. <laughs> oh god! Oh, play this again. <laughs> Welcome to the knee show. I've been fucking dogs since I was 13 years old. And that pussy's Wait. probably better than your girls. Hold on. Since I was Whoa. 13 that years old. That dog's a paedophile. <laughs> 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 and now, now this, this power dynamic's completely changed. Since, since she was 13 years old. Yeah, I think this dad that grabbed her ass was involved. Who knew this story of a dog shagger would get sad? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this would be a straight, well-developed person who had a nice yeah. history. She seems happy with it, though. I mean, she seems like she's off her fucking tits. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's got that real, like, medicated lunatic vibe. Yeah. I've just, I've been fucking dogs. <laughs> do, you, do you reckon that was her first read, or do you reckon she gave it a few options? <laughs> I've been fucking dogs <laughs> since I was 13. <laughs> you know, just giving it some. I've been fucking dogs. Yeah. I like the idea that she was like, no, no, now Christopher Walken style. <laughs> Just like, no, right. guys. I mean, let's do a silly one. Dog. This was 13. Ow. Um, yeah. Let's do, let's do a silly one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't think she does a lot of retakes. I think she's a very much a one and done sort of girl. What's the end of this? She reckons her pussy is. I think the end of this is suicide. I'll be honest. I'm pretty certain that my girlfriend's pussy is better than hers because my girlfriend's pussy is not full of dog cum. <laughs> so that's a big tick in her box, if you'll excuse the Oof, <laughs> Like literally a tick? Because <laughs> like, it's an It might well be in hers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was very Shagger funny. and get fucking that's, legionnaires. That's very funny. Well thanks. Done. I think it was what Dan did uh, that I piggybacked on, but thanks for the credit. That's both very I, funny. I, I, I actually you. operate with a lot of subtext, but I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad Rob is here to offer the text. <laughs> you got to spell it out for him, mate. <laughs> very funny for both of you. <laughs> it's, just, it's just with you, I expect it. With him, it's just kind uh -huh. of like every once in a while, like, oh, oh look at you, well done. Yeah. Yeah, because usually he just shouts. Yeah. Anyway, it's, carry it's on. It's so lovely to see straight men complimenting each other. Well, <laughs> one straight man being complimented. Since <laughs> <laughs> I was 13 years old. Oh, right. Go down, go down, go down, go down. I want to see the end. We didn't want to see the we end. Didn't finish oh. the, we didn't finish the clip. What? We didn't get to the end of that. No, honestly, there's a bit more. There's only like five seconds more. But yeah, but I still there. want to see what she says. It's all been dynamite up to this point. <laughs> That's maybe the tightest 15 I've ever heard. <laughs> we'll go back to that halfway through. Dogs, since I was 13 years old. And that pussy's probably better than your girls. June 4th, 2023, bitches. Oh, she just did the date. She just plugged a tour date. Just they did the <laughs> date. Can we get her to, like, next time we do a tour, can we get her to announce them? <laughs> you think she's doing cameo? <gasps> oh. I've got an idea, I'll tell you afterwards. Um, <laughs> remind me of that, I've got a good idea. Okay, so, go um, right, welcome to the dog show, bitch. That's her thing. Oh, yeah. she's doing a little TikTok dance. Maybe she's actually going on tour. And, uh, I don't know, I don't if, know if you can take this on the road. Well, if she is, fingers crossed she because she sounds like she likes getting fucked! Um, please, so... please, <laughs> For fuck's sake. Just imagine how much they charge for a dog handler. <laughs> Uh, the adler would be earning more than the dog. <laughs> yeah, mate, cut all this bit out. <laughs> this out. Pop a little bleep on. Stop being a fanny oh, Tom. Oh, come on. Uh, so, Denise Frazier, what a character. Um, yeah. Thought you'd enjoy that. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Jesus uh, walks in me. I mean, yeah, the walking in you is the least of the problem. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually not all that goes out. Jesus walkies in you by the looks of it. He teaches love. Well, I love the fuck out of my dogs. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. my God, the one just it's underneath. Right, you saw the one that as well? Underneath. Yeah. yeah. The oh. one just underneath. Oh. My, my pussy must taste like peanut butter by, by how often they lick it. Oh, for fuck's sake. It, look, I will oh, say. Here we go, we've got another video. It's the new sweet 16, 614, June 4th, 
2023 and stop all the gossiping and rumors. I'm real. Trust me. I'm real. Like, trust me. I'm fucking real. Can you imagine what it's like for the people who like went to school with her? Oh, my imagine God. Imagine if this is one of your mates. Every day. Oh, it's all I do. I would go to class reunions. <laughs> I don't think she's invited. No, I think when, no dogs when, allowed. When they're doing the school reunion, they're like, are we, are we inviting the dog fucker? I mean, <laughs> right, that... here's a question for you. Do you reckon you can train a dog to lick pussy? Well, clearly, no, there I mean, is like, evidence. No, 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 I mean like better than other dogs. Yeah, what? definitely. You can train dogs to do all sorts of shit. Yeah, but can... I don't think you can train them to do it with finesse. Yeah, I think you can. I think you can get them to lick the area. I don't think you can get them to like roll no. their tongue over the underside of the clip. No, I reckon they can. Serious, like, think about guide dogs and all the stuff they do. Yeah, I don't think they make anyone come. Think about sniffer dogs. They're not that good. The, the, sniffing drugs is harder than this. Not for a dog. Dog can smell loads of shit. Dog can, dogs lick all the time. Yeah, look, I'm sure the licking will be good, but it's not, like, targeted. I think you can train like, it. When a dog licks your face, it's not, like, going for one little area, is it? It's, but like, I, all over. But I think you can train it to. To be like... <laughs> yeah. I just don't think you can. Yeah. They, like, I can't believe I'm engaging with this. But, like, <laughs> um, like it, there's no foreplay in dog fucking generally. So I think this would be completely outside of their instincts. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, they'd yeah. be bad pussy They're lickers. not going to yep. understand what they do. Whereas I could see cats would be quite good. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Rough, but, yeah, dry but... tongues, though, haven't they, cats? You'd have to lube a cat's tongue. Also, good luck <laughs> trying to train a cat to do anything. I think if you're looking for animals to lick your pussy, like roughness isn't really an issue at that point. You'd probably be <laughs> masturbating with sandpaper Ooh. at a coarse level. If you had to get an animal to lick your pussy, chameleon. Uh huh. Sticky tongue. Yeah. That's what you want. Blank. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were just like, so you could imagine it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think that's the ideal motion, though, the flick and stick. Okay. You, know, you want a little beep, 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 you know? Um, what about, like, a koala? Have you seen the way that they eat? They've got chlamydia. They do, 97%. Oh, yeah, um, that's that's her biggest... She's got rabies. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, are we worried about chlamydia for? Koalas are a bit better at fingering because they've got that little human hand, don't they? Yeah. They've got, like, claws, they've got claws. They're, they're quite, they're quite they, vicious. How about they've got, like, fingerprints? It's like human fingerprints. Yeah, they've also got big claws. Yeah, they got claws. They're actually, like, way more vicious and grumpy than people think. They look adorable, but they're actually, like, aggy little cunts. Like all mm. Australians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 saw, I, went and, uh, I went to a place that had loads of koalas, obviously, when nice. I was out. Yeah, had to And you it. played the tree? I played the tree. <laughs> Lovely. Hung out. Got um, chlamydia. Well, you just want to tell the missus. <laughs> if you're a fan of Dead Men Talking, then why not sign up to our Patreon? From just £3 a month, you get access to shitloads of extra content and loads of specials. And for now, we are doing a... I was going to say for a limited time only. It's not. It's from now until forever. We're doing a free seven-day trial so you can sign up, check it out, see if it's for you. No risk, but we're so confident you'll love it and we're so confident we'll stay that you'll become a patron for life. <laughs> we hope you're enjoying this week's episode of Dead Men Talking. And I don't care if you are. Here is a little sneak peek of some content from a previous Patreon-only episode. If you enjoy it, sign up at patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod. You plan, right? Uh -huh. You get all the pedos and you say, if you're a pedo, you can have all the child porn you want. But you have to live on Pedo Island. And it's all, there's no kids allowed we, on Pedo Island. Can we broadcast it like Love Island? Yes. I mean, that would be great. But there's no kids on Pedo Island. Yeah, well, it's just all, all the pedos who live they're there. They're all going to say no if they go to an island with no kids. But that isn't what pedos do, is it, though? They don't go where there's no kids. They get jobs where there are kids. They become football coaches but, and priests. But, and they can have all the kids porn they want. But if they get caught on with kiddie porn not on Pedo Island, shot. Yeah, but <laughs> there already is punishment for them getting caught. With child porn, where, not on Pedo Island. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, Epstein's Island is going spare. Where is where is Pedo Island? Epstein Island. Come is on, it, repurpose is it. Is it nice weather? No, it's the Falklands. Oh, uh, that would be... So the, they're just penguins and angry that'd, Argentinians. <laughs> that would yeah. be a, real, that'd be a yeah. real selling point for me. Yeah. If it was, like, Bermuda, maybe. No, it is not the Falklands it. Pedo Island. This is Malvinas Peeland Pedo Island. All right, how about the Isle of Wight? <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, like it's, it's basically that anyway. Yeah, like it's fine. It, it? it is going to change the vibe at the festival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we'll call it the, the Isle of Man. The Isle of Man's perfect. Yeah, that is perfect. The Isle of Boy will change it to <laughs> the Isle of Man. Yeah. Yeah. And to be fair, you want to be going fast on a motorbike to get away from a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I th- there are problems. I don't think pedos are as willing to out themselves as you two cunts believe. Yeah. Let us know in the comments. What island do you think we should send all the pedos to? Yeah, but it's catching them that's the problem, isn't it? They're slippery, the pedos. We need They're to very offer devious a, bunch. We need They're to slippery. offer them more, don't we? We need yeah. to offer them more. Ten grand. One kid. No, they don't want anything more than they want little boys' asses, though. They, they, they spend their whole life... You know, working towards fucking kids. What don't about they? grooming what, takes right. years? No I, one works out on a pedo. What about this? What about this? We say to them, listen, right? You go into Pedo Island, but here's the thing. One of the things about Pedo Island is that every time there's a new technological advancement that can be repurposed for pedophilia, uh-huh. you guys get first dibs. Right. So AI at the moment making images, yep. Yeah. Once yeah. VR gets good enough, they get one of those a- Apple glasses on. Yeah. They get yeah. a very small flashlight connected to it. Yeah. Exactly. It, it, yeah. When toasters can put your face on, they get a kid on it. You want any technological investment. I reckon you can be very creative with this. When you can put a face on a toaster. <laughs> no, you think that's what's coming no, next? No, no. When you, you think talk- it's going to be like a Henry the Hoover no, toaster? I, I, I love the idea. Toaster, I love the to- idea that in Apple, they're going, right, okay, we've made augmented reality glasses. What next? What is? Oh, you look down and it says face on a toaster. No, no, like, no, no, no. I know we said there was no bad ideas in here, but Jim, you're taking the piss with this. You toaster missed, face. No, you that's missed, what we've got here. Yeah, the you're eye toaster. We've gone to shit since Steve died. How much? 800 quid. <laughs> You're misinterpreted. It'd have no slots to put toast in. You'd have to buy another dongle to do it. Not face on the toaster. Face on the toast. So you think <laughs> what they're aiming for is some sort of toast printer where you can print a picture of your face on yeah, your toast yeah. every morning. Yeah, I would love that. And pedos would love that if there was a little boy's ass on there. <laughs> so, that's, I, Smear I, a bit of Nutella on it. <laughs> I question the, the pornographic capability of toast. <laughs> you showed us Denise Fraser. I'll show you something that I found on the internet today. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's have a quick look. Uh-huh. Uh, so um, I don't know I don't how... know which one of these sounds more upsetting, to be honest with you. It's okay. Well, well, you read both the titles out and you can choose. We can either have Woke Chicken or Private School Rap Battles. Uh, like... The, the second one makes me want to kill myself. Oh, well, let's watch the second one then. Oh, God, it's kids. I had to put you up for adoption. Oh, and when you went to a supermarket, <laughs> you thought three for two was actually three for two. <laughs> oh! right, you went back to ideas. What ideas do you have when your brain's the size of a pea? And I, oh! I went back to money. Your, mom's, you, your mom paid other people to take you. Of <laughs> course, you want a cow. Oh, but my mum doesn't go me. Your mum does. <laughs> Your mum sold you on eBay for two pounds so she could get a male stripper. <laughs> <laughs> but like. There's right. loads left then. Yeah, but it was really yeah, shit. Really yeah. boring. Yeah, it, are they supposed yeah. to rhyme? Yeah, they are. Yeah, that's yeah. not rap battle at all it's like a roast battle to be honest to tell you what it reminds me of Freddie's street content (laughs) (laughs) wow (laughs) what is Freddie's street content wow (laughs) Freddie started filming bits where he goes and asks members of the public to roast him it's about that you get absolute lunatics it's great (laughs) I mean if I was you doing that I wouldn't approach school children you know what (laughs) there's one one that goes out today and it was the first one basically I say um, you know if you make me laugh I'll give you 20 quid and most of them are dreadful at it Mm. but there was one guy and he was a really dour northern bloke who looked at me and he went very well you look like a cartoon walrus. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <great. laughs> that's like that's genius, to be fair. Yeah, but, but surprisingly, those posh children were bad at rap battles. Yeah. Yes. Only eleven. Yeah. Um, uh, check out Woke Chicken then. Okay. Woke Chicken, if, Woke if chicken I... sounds like a game that private school kids would play. Yeah, 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 no, it's yeah, not. Yeah. Ah, Woke Chicken, I've come on your face. Yeah. Uh, uh... <laughs> that's where you jizz on a non-binary person. So sure. if they flinch, they lose. Got it. <laughs> uh, can okay. You, can you imagine sending your kids to private school and them not knowing what rhyming I'd is? I'd be furious. You pull them out. You're spending thirty grand a year on them not to be able to rhyme two fucking one syllable so words. Go yeah. up a minute. Go up a minute. Uh-huh. So uh unfortunately, yeah. Chick fil A, you know Chick fil A. I'm aware of Chick fil A. But I I know of Chick fil A. Of course you in do. My you, keep, head, you keep your nose in with the uh, it, fried chicken world. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely I dip in and out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. Of ranch dressing. <laughs> <laughs> so in my head, Chick fil A is just kind of like KFC. 
Right, that's what I assume. Yeah, it's, it is. it's better than KFC. It's like a higher tier. Is it of like the fried five guys of fried chicken? Yeah, like Nando's. Yeah. Well, no, it's not a, it's not a date it. thing. Unfortunately, but Nando shouldn't be a date thing. But it, it is. In the it UK. is. Yeah, Unfortunately, yeah. Chick Fil A isn't the Lord's Chicken anymore. It's now. I didn't know it was the Lord's Chicken. Neither did I. I didn't know the Lord had chicken. Uh-huh. However, it's now according <laughs> to this woman, woke chicken. Uh huh. And so she is going on a one woman mission to uh, boycott Chick Fil A. Right. You can't really go on a one woman mission to boycott. All you can do is boycott yourself. Well, yeah. I mean, I think that that's one of many issues with this woman's <laughs> logics and reasoning uh-huh. and thoughts. Wait, can... So what, what have Chick-fil-A done to be woke chicken? Uh, I don't really even know. Was was it the large chicken because that other woman fucked it in a church? <laughs> <laughs> have, a, have a watch of her video, though. Let's see her read. Uh-huh. So I'm grieving. It's lunchtime. I'm here with Aubrey. And we really want to have Chick-fil-A. But because they More decided to hire a Chick-fil-A. diversity, equity, and inclusion oh. corporate position Pause it. and also bow down to... So, so they've hired a diversion, uh, diversity uh, expert, in they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, executive. And and so and apparently, according to them, they have bowed down to the woke lords. Right. So her and Aubrey standard. Right. Are, Dude, uh, how good was Aubrey's just little give yes. the camera a bit? Sup. You know, yeah, big yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm fucking Aubrey. I spell my name correctly. Probably not with two fucking ends like this idiot. Yeah. <laughs> like, just how much of a shit do you give about the corporate structure of fast food companies? They've done what? Yeah. Like if- hired a person. <laughs> If you start poking around into what those companies get up to, I think that's going to be the least of your fucking issues, to be honest. Right. Carry on. To the woke lords because of their ESG scores. And also I found out, do you know, What's that an ESG their chicken score? is Pause funded it. by... What's ESG it? score? Do you know? I don't know. I'd oh, like you, to I know. thought you were going to answer. I think no. ESG is like... Um... Okay, we're going to Google it. Yeah. If Tom can. What do you think it might be? I think it's... How um... diverse your company is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like oh, a, a quality score graphic or some shit? An ESG is way to like, such as numerical score to environmental, social, and government efforts. Right, ah. okay. So it's like how good yeah, you are right. at being Let's environmental. Let's prove we're not a cunt. That's right, basically. yeah. 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 Back on to that. Yeah. She's also claiming that their chicken is funded by BlackRock and Vanguard. Okay, well, they might be investors because they invest in like loads yeah. of shit. But I don't think they're like controlling it. I don't think they're cooking it. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's seven herbs and black rock pepper. Yeah. <laughs> Goldstein, another burger, quick. Uh, that what sounds, you just did was racist. That sounds like a bushy crisp, to be honest. <laughs> black seven rock herbs pepper. and black rock pepper. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, fuck yeah. Right. Go on. By black rock and Vanguard. Are you kidding? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, their fucking farm, Audrey. Tyson well. and this other farm, black rock and Vanguard funded chicken. Chick-fil-A, you are no longer the Lord's chicken. Sorry, they're also You're claiming actually- that those investment firms are woke. Like that their, <laughs> their main m- motivation in the world is to like help trans kids, not just extract as much money from yeah. any economy they can. Yeah, yeah. you know uh, BlackRock, that financial institution. Yeah, that's, yeah I mean, it's BlackRock, not White Rock. You know, like they're doing the best they can. BlackRock matters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, the thing, like, because these companies will slap a Pride logo on one month of the year, people yeah. go, oh, they they deeply care about woke stuff. No, they're just trying to sell more things to gay people. Yes, and also as well, Gay people equally don't like them doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah, yeah. It's not like gay people go, "Oh, Mercedes Benz really have our side." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fantastic. I go sit on a gear stick. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny that that's so much more normal than fucking a dog? <laughs> so yeah. much more normal. If you shag a car, no one can really get annoyed at you unless They're it's like, their oh, car. A German. Yeah, <laughs> you know, normal. Yeah. Right. Carry on with this. Actually, the woke chicken, and I'm really upset about it as. A Christian woman, all we wanted was some good fried chicken. So now we're gonna go to Cane's, we're gonna try it out. This is really difficult because there's a Chick fil A across the street. Now eating- this is the side of boycotts that you never see. Mm. This is a white woman who, God bless her heart, is living and dying by her principles here mm-hmm. and getting some slightly different fried chicken My from a shop across the street. What a fucking hero this woman is. Well done. Well done, Morgan. Morgan, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morgan, and, no, 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 no. Anyone can have principles. But... Morgan and Aubrey. I think, hey, I'll also, round of applause for Aubrey for being there supporting. Well done, Aubrey. Aubrey, Aubrey. Asking the important questions as well, such as, are they? <laughs> <laughs> a real a real Jeremy Paxman you've got there in your passenger seat, isn't it? Yeah, I, I feel like Aubrey's just hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aubrey just wants chicken, and she's like, 
It's like Brit- like Morgan's been like, before we do, we've got to make a little no, video. No, no, I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is. Uh, Aubrey's gone, I'm fucking starving. And Morgan's gone, where do you want to eat? And uh, Aubrey's gone, anywhere. And Morgan's gone, well, I'll eat anywhere but Chick fil A. Yeah. And Aubrey's just waited and she's gone, do you want to know why? Yeah. She's gone, I just want to fucking eat, mate. Yeah. I just, I was trying to figure it out, but it's America, right? So yeah. I was like, maybe it's just Morgan's got a car. And Aubrey, <laughs> yeah, Aubrey was there being like, I just need a lift, mate. Like, yeah, honestly, can't walk anywhere in give this a fuck. fucking hellhole. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, right, go on. Eating chicken fingers instead of chicken nuggets. Oh, know- God. Fingers instead of nuggets. <laughs> They're a different hey, shape. Hey, 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 she's self-aware. Don't jump down her throat. Yeah. I know. First world Christian problems. I don't know how this is in any way Christian. <laughs> like, Jesus didn't die on a any- cross of chicken fingers. <laughs> how do you think he fed that many people? Nuggies cunt. That's how he did it. That's how he got it done. Ah, he turned the fish into nugs. <laughs> <laughs> fish fingers. Yeah. No, no, no. Use That's the for lo- the Jews. <laughs> exactly. Use the loaves to make fillet of fishes. <laughs> first world Christian woman problems. No one will ever understand the love that I had for Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I got my you don't love it if you can't handle it and, also being a little bit gay. You know, we're taking this boycott Chick-fil-A thing seriously and it's really difficult. Pause it. Looks it. She's barely made it through one meal. <laughs> and it's really difficult. Yeah. There's, there's, I'm pretty sure Gandhi went on a hunger strike for like for like a month. <laughs> she's she's just eating a meal in a different place. Yeah, those, guys, those monks setting themselves on fire going, we could have just had different chicken. <laughs> Gandhi had teenage pussy to fill him up, though. That, that was his little way of getting around that. He filled himself up. Nom, nom, nom. A little 15-year-old Oh, pussy. yeah, yeah. He used yeah. to sleep with uh, yeah. children. Really? You like, push it like Gandhi himself. Schofield? Really? Yeah, like, that's where you're going to fucking take Gandhi this? was a full scope. Yeah, and he was like, I, I have to sleep with these young women yeah. so that I can prove that yeah. I am not tempted by them. Yeah, it was a thing Gandhi yeah. did. Weird yeah. nonsense. But to be fair, he did groom them. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I want to know though, Freddie, what would Nando's have to do for you to boycott them? Stop selling chicken. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Take chips off the menu and replace it with salad. Yeah, yeah I think they'd have to throw salad in my face as yeah. I went in. Oh, no, you'd, you'd get past that. You'd be like, as long as I can still have the two types of potato I normally have. That's yeah. not, we go to Nando's quite often, and he gets chips and mash every time. What? Yeah. What, why, is that, why is that wrong? <laughs> what do you mean, why is it wrong? That's too it's, much. It's, it's on the menu. It's an option. Yeah, it, but like you can have 58 burgers is on the menu technically. <laughs> like, sorry, just in ordering, like here is it common? You get like a steak or like a schnitzel at a pub and you get chips and salad or mash and veggies. Is that yeah. the same here? Yeah, meat and two veggies normally a thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, normally get, but, you get meat, potato and veg. That's yeah. normally a thing. It's like, how would you like your potato? How would you like mm-hmm. your vegetables? We've got a hot option, a cold option, yeah, a mashed yeah, yeah, option, yeah, yeah. a, a exactly. hard option. Whereas Freddie just goes, how, they're like, how would you like your veg? And he goes, potato. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I think if you go into a pub and they're like chips and salad or mash and veg and you say mash and chips, yeah. they should be allowed to spit in your mouth. Yeah. Hey, Jamie, you know got chips and I wouldn't chips. mind that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind them spitting in my mouth as if they hadn't had any fucking vegetables. <laughs> uh, do you know what is on my carvery? When I get a car, do you know what it's a insane. carvery is? It, it's meat carved from a it's bit a roast of larger dinner. meat. It's a roast dinner. A roast a dinner. Like but a buffet a carvery, roast dinner. Yeah, so you go up to like a, a buffet counter and they'll slice you off your meat and then you select what potatoes and veg you want and then put your own gravy on. So sure. it's fucking brilliant. So I have <laughs> so I have meat on there mm-hmm. and then I have uh, Yorkshire pudding, mm-hmm. uh, sometimes two, who's asked. Obviously you're having two, don't yeah, pretend. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, sometimes you... two, usually three. Yeah, why are you lying <laughs> to us here, Freddie? And then I'll have mash. And then I'll have loads of stuffing, and then I'll have uh, roast potato, and then I'll have gravy, and that's it. That's not, not that. Single... Ma- that's not a mad story, though. No, that's... but there's not a single vegetable. That's insane. Like maybe yeah. this is a personal question. Do you ever shit? Like ever? <laughs> no, he drinks about five oh, liters of coffee every so, day. It's so firing out. So, of him. so here's a fun fact. That's my first coffee today because I had th- I, I had mad diarrhea this morning. Yeah, because you drank I... like two bottles of wine last night and went on Instagram live. Do you not remember being on live? 
I do now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch it. I just saw that you were on live at about 1 a.m., an hour after you'd put a tweet out where you tweeted about these Apple goggles. Oh, yeah. Someone <laughs> gave him some shit for it. And he went, what do you expect, mate? It's half 11. I'm pissed off wine. I'm not going to be fucking Bill X, am I? <laughs> Which was really funny. But then so I read that tweet and I was like, oh, he's having a nice night. Then I saw the notification on Instagram an hour later he was on live and I was like, I'm not watching so, that. So do you know what it was? Yeah. Is I was on I was on white wine, which I never usually drink. Mm -hmm. But it pairs well with chicken. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, white on white. But only the chicken from Cane's, not Chick-fil-A. Of course. Mm -hmm. Um and then I actually uh was drinking uh Ho Garden. Uh-huh. And Ooh. the wheat beer and the white wine caused havoc with my intestines. That's what I call having a picnic with his mum. <laughs> Ho Garden. Yeah. His mum's a big fat slag. Yeah. <laughs> Shame there's no beer called submissive woman in a field. Good yeah, one. You yeah. uh, so <laughs> Consider me zinged. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and for more great roasts, follow my Instagram. So, um, yeah. yeah, so anyway, so this you're morning, white wine drug, I living your best life. I, I, yes. Yeah, I woke up. You really have embraced being a gay man, haven't you, in the last <laughs> week? Was, I woke up and it was absolutely, like, absolutely carnage. But when I have diarrhea... Sometimes I just leave it for a bit. What because, do you mean? Because I feel like I can just like you hold it in your ass. No, no, as in as in I let myself have diarrhea all morning. Yeah, because well, you like have I'm... to. That's how diarrhea works. No, it's not. You can have a fucking dioralite or whatever and just clog yourself up. Uh, ah, yeah, it's not like instant. Is but it? I instant quite like the idea of just sort of shitting out all the bad. Like food and yeah, that's crap. the point that's, of diarrhea. Yeah, that's what yeah. I usually yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your yeah. body expelling something urgently. It's yeah. going, this needs to be out of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for, you can imagine how bad it has to be for his so body to I had, reject I it. had four <laughs> lots of shits this morning. That's why I've literally just broke into that coffee now because I feel like you can roll that the apple dice. juice and the, the the little pecan slice thing was me testing the water. <laughs> the pecan slice. That's yeah. how you tested the water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And apple juice and a pecan pie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What? Oh, I'd hate to see your insides. It'd be like the boot of an unused sedan. <laughs> it's fucking horrible in there. Yeah, Oof. yeah, yeah. No, honestly, I, I can't remember the last time I had any vegetable at all. Yeah. I honestly can't You're a remember. grown man. It's pathetic. What do you mean it's pathetic? I think it's, it's pathetic it's to be a grown man. It's like, I don't like vegetables. I, I, I don't do that. I just don't eat them. Do you I eat just, fruit? What, sorry? Fruit? Do you, look at him. Do you think he eats fruit? I th like no. maybe like an apple in, no. inside some kind of tart. Yeah, he might have an apple pie. Maple and Blueberry pecan muffin? slice, there's, there's something fruity in there. Maple and pecan slice, there's something fruity in it. In Pecans the and nuts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maple's a syrup. Yes, there you go. Syrup Where's the fruit? fruit? That's not fruit. <laughs> None of this is fruit. Pecan is a nut. And pastry. It's a slice. Which oh. bit do you think is fucking fruit? It tastes fruity. It's like having I've had one of I've had one of my five a day. <laughs> slice. I only ate fruit yesterday. And I'm only eating veg today. What? I'm on this it... weird GM diet, this like crash diet thing. And I only had fruit yesterday. And I'm getting married in a couple of cheese. weeks. I'm getting married in a couple of weeks, so yeah. I need to look. Better. Right, so you've gone for the bulimia diet. Yeah, we've gone for the bulimia diet. That's right. one point eight kilograms in a day. That's not healthy. I know. <laughs> it's really dangerous. I'm really worried. Yeah, I've don't always, do that. I've always thought getting in the best shape for your wedding day was such like a false errand because then you've got this photo of you looking the best you've ever looked, and then you get married and look progressively worse forever. Yeah. And it'd be hard to not see a connection. Yeah. yeah. Well, so just wear a nicely tailored suit, you look fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that as well. Yeah. Just, you know. Yeah. What are you doing for your stack? I've had my stag, but we're having a special stag, aren't we, Freddie? We're having we a are. special stag. We uh, can exclusively reveal that the next um, a special that we're filming is Tom Stag. Yeah. Uh, is it going to be lots of fun, Rob? It is for us. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> are we going to spend lots of money making it happy? No, we're skint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are really going to push the boat in. <laughs> we are we are because tom is such a happy little fucker right he's so joyful all the time right he just like enjoys things he's just like naturally happy and it's really annoying so we're going to like the aim of the stag do is to like break him mm. like that's the, that's mine and freddie's aim through this yeah. tears would be brilliant but basically, we're going to do a really cheap shit stag do and upset Tom. So I look forward to that. And my aim is to have a lovely time. Yeah. 
I kind of back Tom on this one, to be yeah, fair. Yeah. I do too, to be honest. He's the betting favourite to survive this. <laughs> but... Am I happier than you are evil? That's the question. That I know, we're really going to put it to the test. <laughs> I think I think a few dictators have actually tried that one yeah, yeah. <laughs> over the years. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's told me I'm not allowed to spike him with drugs, which was my first plan out the window. What about if we spike him with lard so he just looks dead fat? <laughs> then, that's a good plan. Yeah, yeah. You bring your lard. <laughs> I'm not showing my lard. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, just subtly spikes up with lard. <laughs> Wait a minute. This pint's got a knob of butter in it. <laughs> I ordered low fat margarine. Who says anything about being subtle? I'm going to wait till you pass out and shove up your ass. <laughs> That'd be so funny. I think my drink was spiked with lard. They go to the CCTV and it's you with a butter knife just lumping it in. <laughs> I've got I've got so many more things. Do you want do you want another little topic before we move on? To yeah, go ahead. Uh, right, pop into my uh, email. I've got so fucking many. Um, ooh, which one should we go for? Let's go for whale. Uh, right, we might as well just go through these in fucking audible. Oh, it's a picture season. of Freddy's mum. <laughs> no, we didn't have a, a, a lens wide enough. So what has <laughs> been happening here, right? If we scroll down to this video, right? Uh, watch the little video first. This is two people kayaking, getting eaten by a fucking whale. Re what? Rewind it. It's the first couple of seconds, right? Have a what? look. Watch this, right? There's a couple of people stood up on a, a kayak. They're doing that paddleboard thing. No. Uh, What's this? They're in a kayak. Oh! oh. Hey. Right. Now scroll up and read the story of how these two came to be on this day out. It's fucking class. Okay. Right. Here we go. Humpback whales have been active lately in Lewis Abispo Bay near Avila Beach. Drawing kayakers and paddlers to the area to watch them feed. Mm-hmm. McSorley had already been out to watch them once, so when her friend came to town for a visit, she asked her if she wanted to go. Her reaction was, no, I don't like the ocean. I'm scared of sharks. I'm scared of anything I can't see in the water. <laughs> so I ignorantly told her, oh, they're never going to dump you over. The kayaks are very stable. I've never had an issue, McSorley said. And so she reluctantly came with me just to have a new experience. <laughs> Can you imagine someone who is terrified of the water, terrified of being eaten by marine animals, and you're like... Don't be stupid. <laughs> Nothing ever happens when you go kayaking and then immediately you get Moby Dicked. <laughs> so, you end up in a fucking Bible story in seconds. Yeah. So uh, that friendship needs to end immediately. Yeah. Because there's no way that those two can ever have a normal conversation ever, ever again yeah, yeah. without yeah. one of them bringing it up. Oh, God, it is over. It's like, do you want to come down to the pub? Like, oh, I don't really want to. Oh, why? Will nothing happen? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, they, they need to stay friends because they're still in the stomach of that whale. They're just, <laughs> they're just chilling, talking about the weather. <laughs> I can confirm they have left the oh, whale. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, I wasn't That's sure. how they got this interview. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Send a reporter after him. They've started a podcast inside the belly of a whale. <laughs> <laughs> they said one of those Thai kids from the cave. Get in there. <laughs> Take a Zoom recorder. You'll be right. Yeah. You've been, up like the old lucky woman just wanted to fly. Just kept sending people after him yeah. after another. Yeah, quick, send that road, send that kayak out with roadcaster equipment. We need a very well trained dog. <laughs> I happen to know. One. <laughs> oh, so funny that in it that they're pulling the mate into it and immediately got eaten by a whale. Um, should we uh, do Tom's lovely question? Let's do a lovely question. Uh, yeah. Tom's lovely question. Oh, isn't that lovely? Jag, marry, kill. Dog, snake, pigeon. Beautiful. Um, marry the dog has to be. Like, I can see no other way than marrying the dog. That's a great companion that's going to be Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's would you rather shag or kill a snake? I think, I think I'd think i shag the snake. Shove no, up your ass. Think... Wiggle it about. No, it, what sort of, is it a venomous snake? I don't know. Do we get to choose the type of snake? Uh, it's the most venomous snake. That, oh, that is, kill. That is kill a... the most venomous snake and fuck a no, no, but it's... you've got to kill it. Yeah, but like yeah, with it, like a shoe. The, the most venomous snake in the world is actually the fierce snake, located in northeast Australia, and they're actually not not particularly aggressive. They're quite timid, so you can probably get it. So it's more yeah. submissive. <laughs> Good to marry. <laughs> it's got a uniform, Rob. Yeah, just saying. <laughs> the Mulholland snake. <laughs> it's really long. Yeah, uh, like I think it'd be really satisfying to kill the pigeon, though. This is why I'm leaning towards that. Like, really fun to kill a pigeon, but it'd be really unsatisfying to fuck a snake. Yeah, but look, like once I've come with the snake, look, that's not my main priority how satisfying the shag is, to be honest with you, in this scenario. Right? Yeah. I want to set myself up for life by having a good life partner. Got to be the dog. Right? But like, you only have a marriage if you consummate it. So you're going to have mm -hmm. to fuck the dog at least once. Many times, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Well, apparently, according to my friend Denise, great time shagging the dog. Really good for your pussy. That's what I've heard. <laughs> um, yeah. No, actually, I would... Uh, I'd shag the dog, mm -hmm. I'd marry the snake, and I'd kill the pigeon. Right. It's just the easiest. Well, no, killing the pigeon isn't that easy, actually. What you need is a series of wacky flying contraptions. <laughs> 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 and a statue to lure it to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. We've already got our own little motley, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. You have got such a motley vibe. That is totally true. I think we've got a stag do costume. I'll dress up as Dick Dastardly. I've got the look. <laughs> Uh, oh, God. I, yeah. I mean, so you guys, why are you killing the pigeon? Well, it's just easiest. Like, and I reckon like wringing its neck would be that fun. It's a crack. I, like you could slam it against the wall. I, I just kind of see pigeons as like the homeless people of the animal kingdom. So there's something yeah. inherently vindictive about killing one. Yeah, that's Not why it's fun. No one's looking for him. <laughs> <laughs> he just get away with. Although if you are going to shag the pigeon, I bet you get a good head off him. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is if you shag it then he's going to go away and then he's going to come back all the time yeah that's it you can't get rid of him yeah. they know where your house is yeah. you've got to shag a pigeon in a hotel that would be my idea do you think if you shagged a pigeon it would shit on you like... I think naturally if you're going to shag a pigeon some shit's going to come out because you're fucking a cloaca as well with a pigeon you've got an arse and a, a vag is the same bit ah uh, really yeah so you get anal and vaginal at the same time uh, it's a double whammy uh, uh, right, snake, I'll fuck the snake. You fuck the snake. How are you fucking the snake, though? Well, sorry? How are you fucking the snake? Anally. I don't think snakes have an arse you could fuck. What? How big right, is a snake's arse Google, Google the snake's arse. They lay arse. eggs, don't they? Yeah, that's do, true. And Freddy do does have a it, tiny penis. Do they lay them out their mouth, though? Not the out eggs? their ass. They don't shit out eggs. I think snakes lay eggs out their mouth, don't they? What? In state. They've got equivalent of an mammal's anus, so they don't actually have an anus. Yeah, like they vent. lay eggs out of their mouth. Sure. Do, do, I think they might. No, no. they eat no. eggs, but they don't lay eggs. Right, can you well, Google, do, egg, do snakes lay eggs out of their mouth? That can't be the case. How, how do snakes lay eggs? Let's just do that. Let's yeah. let Google fill in the blanks. <laughs> Let's not ask leading questions, Rob. <laughs> I want to lead Google. How do snakes lay eggs? Eggs are spelled from the uterus. There you go. Yeah, through the cloaca. Yeah. You oh. fucking idiot. I thought they just thought kinda, they threw up an egg. Kind of hairballed uh, one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. No, definitely not. What, she'd be able to see it travel and be like, oh, pregnant. Yeah, coming up. <laughs> 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 That'd be like two snakes going past each other being like, congratulations. And it's like, no, nah, I just had a rat. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon if you lubed up a snake's belly and sort of wrapped it around your knob, it could be quite nice. Can I? Can I? Now you're just fucking a Kong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I put loads of like stones in the snake and then use it as like anal beads? Well, make it like one of those shower heads that increases pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Ribbed for his pleasure. Yeah. You know, what you need to do is feed it like um, feed? a grapefruit and a snooker ball and a ping pong ball <laughs> yeah. and no. a golf ball. Just getting gradually yeah, yeah, smaller yeah. to make it into what, anal beads. What you need to Bowling do, what, ball at the end. What you need to do is feed it anal beads. Yeah, that is quite that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, that, he's that's he's very good. Yeah, sharp. I quite like him. <laughs> yeah, 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 he wears off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Quite like him. Yeah. All right, so yeah, we right. I think we've come to a group agreement. You marry the dog, obviously. Obviously, you got to marry the dog. No, I, the dog. I, I was actually... Shag the dog. Shag the You'd dog. rather live with a snake? Uh, all right, live with a pigeon. Oh my God, your house is going to be awful. Can you imagine the smell in your house of a Freddy and a pigeon? <laughs> no, but the pigeon live on the roof. To be fair, the pigeon shit might cover some of your odour. <laughs> the pigeon will live on the roof, and every six months they go, don't they? Right, so your dick's going to look like Trafalgar Square, just covered in pigeon shit. I, I'm with Freddy on this. You're going to marry a pigeon? The pigeon, A, the pigeon wouldn't leave you. It's not going to do any better. It's a fucking pigeon. Yeah, right? but dogs are famously great companions. Pigeons... Man's best friend, marry your best friend. No, I don't want to marry my best friend. I want I want a homing pigeon that goes uh, away occasionally. A homekeeping and, pigeon. Yeah, and is is very happy to have me. Like uh -huh. you know, doesn't have the self esteem. You to me. Does it say like marry your best friend? Like I want to marry an enemy that I've bested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that. You want to marry Avalon? <laughs> I mean, that's probably jumping the gun a little bit there to say bested. <laughs> oh, all right, should we watch some videos? Okay. Well, I'm marrying the doggy mental. Uh, yeah, let's watch a couple of videos. Uh, right, we've got some vids here. Thanks for sending them in. By the way, if you want to send them in, the number is 07354 188257. Send them via yeah. WhatsApp only. As always, we have rules. No animals, no death, no kids, no races, my thing. Yeah, that's one. Um, <laughs> also, uh, please, and this is a public appeal, stop sending me videos on Instagram. 
I don't watch them. He says them. this so often. I Keep don't, sending him videos. I don't watch them. I, I press like and occasionally I'll put ha ha ha, but I'm not watching them. Please. I I only I only reply to them because I feel bad because you've tried to get in touch with me and I feel bad if I don't reply. But honestly... I just don't reply when people DM me. Oh, I... I, I, I owe you nothing. Can you, can, you all, can you all clip this up and just send this to Freddie? Yeah, that'd yeah. be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. We'll put I'll, this clip in the Discord. Honestly, honestly, stop sending me reels because I'm not watching them. I'm just saying that I am just to make you feel happy. Uh -huh. And I don't want that pressure in my life anymore. Uh, do you want to watch some videos? Yes. Yeah. Uh, these are... They were in our Google Drive because we're not getting any new ones this week. But there's ones that Tom hasn't seen because, like, uh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to bring the phone. I need that at home, so we're replicing the studio phone. Um, but so we've got. So either these here. haven't been on, or just not. We just can't ages remember ages as well uh, if they have been on. Okay, we've got some fun highlights for you. Is there anything that makes you uh, sick? Um, I I assume all of this is going to make me deeply uncomfortable. Is there anything mm -hmm. in particular that we? Is there like a, you know like he's got a weird thing about baked beans? Jamie Hutchinson can't wash mashed potato. Sam Gore couldn't wash people brushing their teeth. It's like weird. I'm, I'm really glad because the first two there were just like Nando's side options. Yeah, and I was yeah. like fuck, this is a terrifyingly branded episode. <laughs> um, no, like honestly, like I, there's images that haunt me. Like there was this photo in Australia of a snake covered in ticks, and that haunted me for quite a long time. I'd check that. <laughs> <laughs> what, just a snake covered in ticks haunted you? Yeah, just like covered in ticks. Like is it, it basically looked like it's scales, but they were ticks. Uh huh. And it was haunting. You have no idea what we've seen on here, mate. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> and I'm I'm happy that way. Yeah. Well, let's start introducing you. Uh, there is a bucket right next to you if you do need it at any point. Okay. Uh, so we've got a branded sick bucket. Has um, anyone used it? No, well, people have come close. We've not had a full vomit yet. I think Hutchie was probably the closest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We've yeah, come oh, really Night close. Nightingale was really close. Nightingale was really close. Steve Hofstad, uh, uh, you know, I know, friend of yours. My mate, yeah. Yeah, great dude. We had a great time. We kind of upset him a bit with the videos. Yeah, because... Okay. So, so yeah. here's the thing with Steve. I kind of forgot to mention the videos until right at the very end. I was like, oh, we watched some videos. It won't be that bad. And he was like, oh, and he was here with Rob Ryan. Yeah. As well. yeah. And so uh, we showed him a video of a guy called Naked Martin uh, shitting into a jar of pickled eggs. Pickled onions, it was. Pickled onions, and then shoving them up his ass. No, no, he ate them. Ate them. He, he picked up one of the shitty pickled onions and ate it. And uh, the mood took a weird turn. Yeah. It just, it was just a bit shell shocked. It took him a couple of minutes to recover. It was just a bit. Okay. Yeah. And like, not unfairly, you know? <laughs> you know it's like, we're not having a go at the guy, you know? Yeah. He, he was a wonderful guest, oh, but, you know. More my fault, if anything, for not really sort of hammering home those videos. So am I seeing that? Oh, we can show you that. I don't want to see that. Okay, okay. well, well, well you know, careful what you here. wish for. Go on. Tom, what have you got for us? Uh, this one's called Fence. Right. Even though I found it an hour ago, can't remember what it was. Okay, brilliant. Okay, uh, what is it? Oh, I remember. <laughs> oh! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my first problem is that's not a fence. Yeah, it's a bench, isn't it? It's oh. a bench. Oh. <laughs> really mislabeled this. What's she called it? Why have you called a fence, you <laughs> fucking spanner? There isn't a fence in shot. There isn't even a fence around the park. You it's just, fucking useless it's little just, dick. It's just a single bench, and he's called it fence. I was in a rush. I was in a rush. <laughs> oh, he named it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's oh. like, Tom, you know when you go on like a website and it asks you, click everything that contains a bike? <laughs> I've never got past one of them. <laughs> I just can't do captures. <laughs> so, I'm so, beginning to think it might be a road. Robot. <laughs> so, no, a robot would be able to use the internet. So, so for those of you that are audio oh, listening to this, fuck yeah. that one's um, uh, it You can is, hear from the snap. It's only a six second video of a woman in a park with not a single. Oh. Oh. It's, uh, she breaks her knee and her hip, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She basically tries to jump over a bench. A, a bench. Not, not like a, a fence. tiny fence. A, um, <laughs> a sitting fence. An unfinished fence. Um, and she gets oh, her, she, she manages really to get her leg sort of stuck in the gap between the back and the bottom. <laughs> and then it when goes she, as badly as it possibly could. Her body still carries on mm. trying to go over. There's a and second it's, click. It's, she makes it about 60% over the bench mm. before her body goes, oh, hang a minute, we're missing a leg. Yeah. And it kind of pushes her all Can back. Watch it again? The scream right. as listen, well. Listen to this. I don't yeah. want the scream. Yeah. I'm like, that's what... Yeah, that's oh. that's sheer pain, that isn't it? Well, it's the bang, 
and then the scream. Yeah, so that's, the so bang that's... is the knee. The knee goes fucked, and then the hip rips. Like all the ligaments and everything just rip there, and then the scream. What a great video! Nice yeah, work, Tom. Bad yeah. labeling, but good video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So how, how are you feeling, Tom? So what's the uh, That's a first little warm up. Uh, we I like wanna, to warm up with a gentler one. I want to watch it on like the little, somewhat obscured TV. I think uh -huh. that's how I'm um, going to enjoy it. Can you please things. make these full screen so we can see? So, them all, so the Thank next you. one, uh, <laughs> let's watch smoking, which is about someone having a drink. <laughs> Oh, what? What? Yeah. what? We've seen this one, what? Freddy, ages ago. Ah! Uh, so someone's putting that... a, a, a cigarette out Still lit. in their penis. Right on the tip. Right inside. Be the yeah. urethra, and it's not the first one, because it's covered in ash already. He'd have been a good contender for our shit, uh, shit dick competition as well. Yeah, although well, to be fair, like, you know, it's a great dick if is, you want it to withstand heat. His dick, an asbestos his dick looks like a, a volcano diorama. Yeah, it's like a chef's thumb. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, so uh. they're smoking. Oh, no. What's this? So, so pause it. Pause it. Let's pause. describe what Let, we're seeing. Let's do a what happens next round. <laughs> so so, so this is a woman who's tying her hair well, up. Well, don't assume that. Um, okay, this is a person that's tying her hair up. And um, it looks like she's in like a bedroom or something. Mm -hmm. And there's another person who is sort of squatted in front of them. We can mainly see arse and vag of that. Yeah, point. but with a mysterious pink string. Well, and it's not actually mysterious. I know what that is. Okay, what is right, it? Right, that is a type of vibrator that cam girls wear that responds to them getting tips. Right, so it's like they all like all on cam girl sites. They have those like dangling out the pink things. Oh, it's really? Like a vibrator, yeah, that's in them. So it's like clever. remotely controlled. Yeah, because like cam girling has got like uh, transactional sex down to its most functional. Yeah, you literally give women money and they come. Yeah, this it's is like, this it's, is well, honestly pretend, what a so. deal for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is this is honestly the next generation of Pavlov's dog, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a little ding sound that goes off on cam sites that I have to turn the volume off because I don't want to start getting boners if I hear someone ring a bell. <laughs> <laughs> are, imagine, imagine working late nights at a hotel reception. Oh, oh! She is French kissing that shit. Oh my god! Wow, couldn't train a dog to do that. It's longer than I thought it'd be. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's got a lot in, hasn't she? There's a lot of. Fluid. She's suckling like a baby deer. Yeah. But yeah, she is getting gozzed on. Yeah, she is. Do you is reckon this old Bambi's going to have a sadder ending? Wait, what is that sound? I don't think. I, I think these also don't have a mother. Oof. Christ. I mean, she sounds like she's having the best organ. <laughs> is she blowing a raspberry on it? She's like blowing it back out, all the squirt and cum and shit. Oh my God. She is covered like, in something. It looked like opening an out-of-date yogurt. <laughs> she got braces. Yeah. Wow, that's the most disgusting thing for me. Yeah. Mm. Imagine getting that shit really out of really want to get your, your teeth sorted before you end up on porn. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. It's like, it's, it's so much... I like, well, you know, like, sorry to break this to people, but when women are squirting, like, especially on porn, that's piss. They're just having a piss. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what's so cool. Is, isn't, isn't that what they kind of scientifically proved it always yeah. is? Yeah. But, like, uh, I think, like, if it's, like, actually happens, it's a mix of, like, piss and, like, uh, like you know, fanny goo and that sort of stuff. <laughs> yes, scientifically. Pro fanny goo. Pro Professor fanny Mulholland, goo. Fanny, fanny goo. goo. Fanny goo. But on porn, it's just piss. It's just piss. Uh, but that looks like it adds some texture to it. That looked like PVA glue. What a drag queen name. What? Fanny goo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The one thing with those videos is like, they never have good furniture, do they? No, that was very Ikea heavy. I saw some Kallax in the background of that. Absolutely. Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, I've got the same furniture. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. doing very yeah, well. I, <laughs> I really don't imagine that those people that are doing that, you know, in their off time are like, you know what? I'm really into Bauhaus architecture. Do you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Also, there's a lot. It's going to be a lot of stains on it. Yeah. yeah, you don't do that in the room with the good furniture. No. But yeah. in, in fairness, I've very rarely seen those kind of videos in anything but a hardwood floor. Like these guys are pros, mm. you know. Yeah, yeah, they don't have a carpet steamer. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I, I think they put down some sheeting though. They were prepared. Those. I was I'm pretty sure we've seen one of them shag a carpet steamer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the one that upset Tom earlier. Like I watched him go through these in a git. Take a look at. 
Take oh, a look. Yeah. Oh. Take- and oh, we've said that all yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's that? Yeah. He's got two rows of teeth. No, no. 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 Watch no, it again. No, no. Watch are, it again. Those are. Uh, Check them out yourself. Take a look at. Take a look at. Oh, hey, I'm against my friend. Yeah, I'll be honest. Not in the top five worst place we've seen maggots on this podcast. No, no, no. no. But maggots is just maggots. That is rough having it in your mouth like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, reckon... the fact that he's just gone now. Yeah, this is it. Well, after my first maggot, I'd be down the dentist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's hard to get an appointment, but I'd be like, I reckon I can skip to the front of the queue. Yeah. yeah. Did, like, they were just nesting in there. Yeah. And uh, do you reckon they were kind of like, man, we got the worst house on the best street, huh? It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think for a maggot, that's a pretty good win. You're getting a solid supply of food coming in. It's nice and warm and moist. Oh. I think it's pretty good if you're a maggot. Right, next one. <laughs> Just train. I don't know if this guy's alive or not. I think he is. Always good. Always good to Oh, uh, right. Okay. Well, there's a lot. There's already... Pause it. I don't know if he's alive or not. There's already so many medical people. I think I saw him move and heard him shout in the video. But I only watched it once. Right. Well, let's gross. see if this needs to get edited out and deleted from existence. So they're pulling him from under a train. Not a good start. <laughs> Oh, he is moving. Oh, one of his legs is not there. He is alive. He yeah, is alive. He's alive. Hooray! 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 He's alive. Alive and kicking. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's one of those where it's borderline whether you'd want to be. You know, yeah. it's that that recovery is not going to be good. Like the leg that did survive didn't look in a good way. No, he kind of had a bit of Lieutenant Dan. Mm. You know, mm. energy. Yeah, he's he's not he's not going to be not a lot of leg left. That. Yeah. Do you reckon he like cheers the rail strikes now? <laughs> <laughs> if only there'd been one on my day. Yeah. yeah. It's goddamn Mick, unions. It's a Mick Lynch origin story. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on. Two, uh, yeah, one more. Two. The last one we've got. Too right. far. Like this. These, these other ones have all been quite a long way. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, pause, pause it. Uh, so, this is basically Chekhov's ass. So, this is a woman who is uh, on one the of first those. This shot starts so strong. One of those. Mis- yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what? pause it. So, this is a woman on one of those uh, mechanical fucking machines. A and she's bent over. And she's, all right, I don't know the technical term for it. Um, And she's getting fucked up the arse with loads of different uh, size dildos. And the first one is fucking, it's long, isn't it? It is a couple of foot and girthy. It's like fatter than Freddy's arm. Uh, Is that a lump on it on a bag? Is no. That, no that watch it, like, again. it feels like that's where right, it would rewind get it. To. Let's see if we can see it coming out of her anywhere. I think she's got a lumpy back. Yeah, she's just got a lumpy back. So yeah. it looks like, honestly, that looks like the dating profile of a man that's caught a fish on Tinder. 100%. <laughs> it looks like she's got an unexploded bob. Yeah. <laughs> just like the female equivalent of a lobster. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, like... <laughs> Although, to be fair, if you saw that on Tinder, you swiped it. Yeah. <laughs> One of the worst tramp stamps I've ever seen as well. That's true. But honestly, I don't think this woman makes great choices. Her tramp stamps, they look like they look like um, minimalist cocks. They look like Maori penises. I thought they kind of looked like a runway at the airport. Like, you know it what I mean? Like, I think it's a woman with her legs open. Have you? Oh, it might be. Have you played the new Zelda game? It looks like the wings that you attach things to on the new Zelda. Nah, anyway, all the nerds virgin. will get that. I mean, I think my, my favourite thing about it, so if you go to the first frame of the video, uh-huh. the most complex machine ever made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the Apple goggles might have something to say yeah. about that. Yeah, the most this, complex machine This is machine a dick ever. on a fucking pulley, mate. Yeah, yeah. Like, I this actually, imagine Heath Robinson looking at this like, what the fuck? I, I, I actually think there's a clear for this to be the simplest machine yeah, ever made. It's, it's very it's literally, simple. it's something that does that. Yeah. Have you ever played Mousetrap? It'll blow <laughs> your fucking mind. <laughs> you know, there's actually sketches of this in Da Vinci's notebook. <laughs> Such a complex machine. <laughs> yeah. But the other thing is when Freddie was describing the length of the cocks, he was like, the first one's quite big. And I'm like, what are we saying about the other ones? Like, what are you guys no packing that large, I'm not aware of? But like this one is like, you know, it's what we're saying is she's not started small and worked up. I think we we come in at near the top, sure. No, she's very much uh, living the mantra: "Go hard or go home," isn't she? Yeah, like I, what is that doing to her bowels? Making it, just, it, making it easier to poo. I mean, yeah, but like problematically easy to poo. 
Wouldn't what? it make it harder? I thought it would kind of force it up there like a, mm, you know. It might compact it. Like a stocking stuffer kind of scenario. Is yeah, this how you got diarrhea, Freddie? <laughs> <laughs> that's how he yeah, stopped that's, it. that's me. Two bottles of wine and some whole garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think after that first compacted one, yeah, that compacted one might be more difficult. I think after that, every subsequent shit is very much going to breeze out of there. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Very little friction. Absolutely. It's like, it's like going to the gym, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? First time you How saw it. How would you know? That, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I've heard stories. Go on, Pat, let's just watch it to the end. I want to see if she dies. Yeah. We, we can skip forward, yeah. Oh, super slow-mo. Oh. That That's it. like one of those big hit videos in rugby league. Yeah. You know, like the head <laughs> back, you're like, fuck it I want to see hell. that coming up on a big scoreboard <laughs> in a stadium. VAR. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, right, okie dokie. Well, that feels like the end. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it does uh, now. Uh, that's, what, that's what she said. What you, <laughs> is that what we're doing now, Tom? What is you, that what we're doing? The office. She, season. her specifically, not just she as in general. Like uh, that, does. that woman that we just watched. Rob. Uh, uh, Rob. That's me. That's it. That's him. Dan, your Muggleton. What do you want to plug? <laughs> uh, when does this come out? Uh, next week next, or something? Next, next Thursday, Thursday. A week on Thursday. Uh, or today if you're listening. Yeah, right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, like literally that's the day after like my tour ends. So don't worry about that. Uh, but, uh, I'll be I'll be at Edinburgh Fringe uh, in August if nice you want to if you want to get around that because I also like to not make enough money from live events. Yeah, um, love getting <laughs> fucked in the ass. <laughs> Social media uh, at Dan Muggleton on Instagram, TikTok. Yeah, Dan puts out loads of clips and they're dead funny. So get him followed. It's class comic. So yeah, please yeah, get on all that and do go see him on his next tour, even though he can't on this one and, um, <laughs> check out our patreon if you haven't already it's yeah. three quid a month and for that you get an extra episode every week you get access to all the specials that we do loads of extra content and the dark room videos you get to watch these videos yeah. on the Discord only place server. you can see them that won't land you in jail yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, and it's free yeah well, no, it's, oh, it's free for a week. Free for a week. You get a seven-day trial. So you mm. can literally, you can sign up, have a look round. If you don't like it, you've not lost anything. But we're that confident that you do like it. And about 80% of people that subscribe that. Uh, stay Patreons forever. So, yeah, you know what I mean? We make good stuff. And by doing it, you help to support the podcast and you yeah. help to keep us going to make fucked up stuff. And July 2nd, my new special is going to be out on YouTube. We're going to be having like, uh, I'm going to be doing stuff all day. Like I'm going to do a little live stream before it, I think. And then, uh, so like, I think we're going to put it out. At, my current plan is, see what you think of this. Okay. I'm going to put it out at seven o'clock on a Sunday. July the 2nd. Morning or evening? Evening. Evening. Um, what we're going to do is going to do a live stream before it, like uh, just a little hangout, and then afterwards we'll do an Ask Me Anything on the Discord where people can ask anything they want uh, about the special or not. Okay. I think that'll be fun. How much of that do I have to get involved in? You can come be involved if you want. Uh, do I have to, though? You're going to be mad if I don't? No. Sound. So, um, <laughs> I think we should do an Instagram live or something where you can do it from your house. Yeah. Because <laughs> I also don't want to come to the studio. <laughs> can, I, uh, can I get drunk? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah. Why don't we have a little lock in? Yeah, let's do that. That'd be fun. Have a little lock in. All right, I'm up for that. Are you yeah. getting me the alcohol because I have to sit and watch your special? Fine. But I get to choose what alcohol you're drinking. Oh, what alcohol? I don't know yet. I actually like every alcohol apart from Will. one, and I'm not telling you what it is. All right. Get him, get him on Midori and lemonades. Let's just hurry this diabetes yeah, along. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's really get you going. Okay. I mean, I've done everything apart from like buy diabetes dinner. Really. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, you have really been. In the time that we've been recording this, I have drunk uh, two bottles of apple juice, and I am on a caramel macchiato. <laughs> and that's just that's just during this. Yeah. And then he's like, "Why do I keep shitting myself?" <laughs> no, this is to stop shitting myself. The what? apple what? juice. What are you on about? Yeah. Are you insane? This is, this is not how you stop shit. This is well, triple it's diarrhea. worked, hasn't it? Because I haven't shat while I'm here, you fucking moron. Oh, yeah, I'm the moron yes. in this situation. Apples are rich in vitamins <laughs> to stop. It's just being written by AI as you do it. <laughs> Vitamin D. No. No. See, no. Yeah. yeah, which is good to stop diarrhea. No. Um it's excellent. Google that right now because vitamin C is great for everything. Well, then uh, I uh, ended the episode. This is like a Marvel post credit scene. <laughs> Apples contain a shitload of fiber. Yeah, which make you shit. Yeah, but not when they're blended down like that. No, so it's just sugar. Yeah, this you're not is, getting any of the benefits out of apple juice. That's coloured Apples water. Apples can relieve constipation and diarrhea. Hello, but I think you got to eat the apple. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, well, the ship sailed. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it worked, and so now I'm having a caramel macchiato. Yeah. And then we have to record a Patreon, so yeah. fingers crossed all quinners and crappers pants. Yeah. Well, fingers crossed you do. It'd be great content. So if you want to watch <laughs> that, get on our Patreon. It's three pounds a month. We'll see you later. Fuck off. Damn.